Well, the litany of your major championship heroics is just so long. A lot of them include all those chip-ins. Yeah. We're out of the bunker. Show us uh, yeah. 1984. Take us back. Set us up, if you would, the sixth hole there at Shoal Creek. What well, was you know, that sixth hole was a very dangerous hole. I mean, you, you had to drive the ball extremely straight there. If you didn't get it in play, you, you could lay up to the creek. Now, I did have a landing area of about 50 yards between that creek and the green. And I remember that pin being about middle on the right side. And I had about 40, 45 yards in there. And uh, I'll show you that shot in a little bit of how we do it. I, I, I like to smother the ball a little bit, take a little bounce off the club by putting the club back in my stance a little bit and making it a little bit sharper. Not so much finishing the shot as I do actually attacking the ball, hitting down on it. What that does is when the ball lands, it, it actually releases instead of checking the ball will release and then run almost like a seven iron. I can make a sand wedge. See, I can chip a ball with a sand wedge and make it react like a seven iron. And, um, and, and that's what I did there. Yeah, I made eagle. But this is the shot that we were talking about. And, and, and I, this was not quite as far, but you'll notice that the hands, the hands will stay in front of, uh, see it? Now watch, the hands are still in the same position to where I finished. I'm not here now. You notice when you hit a shot, hold the club and see where it's at. And I guarantee you, you'll be here. And I'm still in this position. I can actually, watch this. I can actually hit this ball, hold the position, right? Watch and come right back down and hit another one. You see that? And what does that do to the flight or the release of the ball? It'll release. It won't put as much spin on it. You understand? See, you don't. Un people don't understand. You know what puts spin on the ball? Bounce. Mm -hmm. Bounce is what puts spin on the ball. When you put a wedge down at 56 degrees and you hit a golf ball, at the same moment that this bounce catches the ground, the ball is on the club face. And the club actually bounces into the ball and makes it spin up those grooves. And that's what puts the spin on it. When you put your hands forward and you take the loft off that club and make it a nine iron, now you don't have 14 degrees of bounce on here. You only have seven.